Hello everyone and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. This is episode four. This is our first official episode with a chosen character. So we are playing as the Corpo female ex-agent V and we've just woken up in our apartment. So we did the prologue mission, which is the same for the three life paths after the six month montage. And after jacking in to that woman, well, it seems that we've got a bit of a virus, you know? You're always gotta wrap your wire before you insert it into strangers. Otherwise you might end up with a computer virus. So we're gonna go and uh, check in with a Ripper Doc, according to the, the mission title here, the Ripper Doc. So if you're on the hunt for Chrome, you won't find a better Ripper than Victor. Well, all right, maybe you could, but you sure as hell can't afford them, Chica. Not like Vic can afford you either. But you're lucky he's got a soft spot. Says you've got a good heart like him. But before we pay old Vic a visit, we've got to decide what comes next. So we're going to meet with Jackie. Now, this is great because the journal gives us the little jumps to the, the codex, essentially, where we get to get some information on necessary characters and we'll kind of play with that as we go, is getting information on these characters and clicking on it, and then we'll find some time to deep dive into to reading things. There's computers, there's shards, there's data bank stuff, and I wish to absorb all of it. So, Jackie Wells is a proud son of Haywood and an even prouder son of Mama Wells. Jackie's stubborn when he wants something. He won't stop or shut up about it until he gets his hands on it. Jackie always wanted a lot out of life, maybe too much. As a teenager, he joined the Valentino's gang, but realizing how much he was capable of, he quit. For years, he hustled through the unforgiving world of Merc work, because you need more than a go-getter attitude to sit at the big boys' table, you need street cred. Jackie's life goal has always been to become a legend at the afterlife and make a heap of eddies along the way. And just still, super, super bizarre that the street kid life path has no idea who this guy is. You frequent the afterlife, you frequent the uh, Mama Wells bar, you know about Mama Wells, and then you go, oh shit, Jackie Wells is in Mama Wells, like you've never met, which is really strange. But then in Corpo, you know each other. It feels like it should be the other way around. So wild. Now, apparently we have an option to check our email, so let's do that. We also have the relic. Why all the fuss? For years, experts in the field of cybernetics, neurology, and psychology have been desperately trying to merge human consciousness with silicon. Until now, their efforts have been un uh, unsuccessful, though scientists have managed to create artificial intelligences that can compare, or indeed, surpass human intellect. Copying the human eye has remained beyond our capabilities. Attempts to do so have merely resulted in sophisticated chatbots, digital beings capable of mimicking human speech and mannerisms, but devoid of self-awareness. That's what we're doing right now. We have those things. We have these, get your AI girlfriend or best friend and you're texting people, or there's like celebrities selling their likeness to AI. It's, we're entering this era. Cyberpunk 2024. <laughs> Today, experts from Arasaka announced a breakthrough. Their newest project, dubbed The Relic, allows human minds to be copied onto shards no larger than a cred chip. What's more, the shard can be slotted into one's neural port allowing its user to hear and see digitized personality constructs. Sadly, I haven't been able to personally examine the specifications of this remarkable piece of technology. Access to the relic is heavily restricted by Arasaka, and only a small select group of testers are allowed to participate in the program. Unsurprisingly, these testers are among the wealthiest and most influential people in the world, precisely the kinds of people Arasaka would like to have in its pocket. For the ordinary consumers reading this, don't expect the relic to hit mass markets anytime soon. Interesting. I love our little assortment of things that we have. That's quite cool. All right. Let's check out email, shall we? Because that is optional. I wish to engage with that. And then we'll browse the net at some point as well, because we have all of this that we can look into on computers. Um, all right. We already read all of these. This might be the optional part, right? Yeah. Auto fixer. We read these in the Street Kid Life Path stuff. I just didn't check the computer as uh, this version of V. So that's fine. I think we can proceed. This is what we look like at the moment. This is our little, uh, our little outfit. 
We got a pistol, we got a katana, we got a submachine gun. We got other things. I don't know what we'll end up really rocking with going forward. We're still early days and figuring ourselves out, but I'm looking forward to it for sure. All right, let's leave. It's a brand new day. Our doors close automatically. Hey V, Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How did you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. You could even call me a collector. Later, V. Just... You could even call me a collector. Okay, interesting. Whoa, look at the, Whoa, look at these graphics, dude. <laughs> look at those high graphics. Incredible. It's meant to look like that, guys. NCPD! Open up! We got a call! We're here to help! We know you're in there! We'll be there. Sign up for our platinum plan today. Oh! Don't like that one bit. Uh. How do I let him go? How do I let him go? I didn't mean to grab him. I thought it was a talking button. How do I let him go? I accidentally picked him up. For fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> fuck. Oh, my God. That was not meant to happen. Jesus Christ. I swear to God, my brain was like, oh, cool. Talk. <laughs> oh, okay. So you can just grab anybody and anyone, uh, which is fine. It's just going to get you in trouble. You know how long that took for her to notice? That's ridiculous. That took her so long to notice. Um, all right. Let's try that again, shall we? Okay. Hey, V. Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How did you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. Such a weird phone call. Okay, let's not grab the guy. Can we talk to them? Open up! We got a call! We're here to help! We know you're in there! Oh, if I get closer to them, they get pissed off. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he gets pissed off if I get too close. All right. Don't get in, uh, don't get involved. Finished them off too quick. Could have stretched it out over two more rounds at least. What for? Cyber children. People come to see a show, not a damn execution. Oh, I can't just grab anyone, but I can grab the cops. That's so interesting. Okay. Yeah, let's see how far that takes you. God damn, there is just so much to look at. I just want to see all of the NPCs doing their own thing, you know? I'm watching. You'll swallow a fly. Yeah, I will, because I'll be walking around going... <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. What's up, Chu? You want some? What's up, Chu? Getting in with the lingo. We got Chu. We got Gonk. We got Preem. We got Eddie's. Just learning the language. <laughs> it's just like, even though a lot of it is just kind of people standing around, it feels so cool. There's just so much going on. And we're not even out in the streets yet. We're just literally just hanging around in... Uh, random apartment blocks. Oh, am I supposed to be going down the elevator, aren't I? That's why. Or I go this way. I should follow the, uh... Follow the objective trail. Yeah, let me get that for you, bud. Look! There you go. It works. That's, that's mine, though, because I paid for it. You tried putting money in it? Cruz finished him off too quick. Could have stretched it out over two more rounds at least. What for? You already know how it's. What is that? People come to see a show. Paw Patrol got crazy in 2077. Look at that. Holy shit. What happened to Paw Patrol? 
Wait, you mean 14 a day? Oh man, I love cyberpunk, like fast food restaurant and like street food stuff. It's so cool. I love street food in general, but like seeing it in Blade Runner is some of my favorite stuff. It's so cool. Hey, you, uh, you reading this? How to keep your shards and data safe from pick sockets. That is, that is an uh, interesting terminology, pick sockets. I mean, it works, it makes sense. Are you reading this on the street, in a store, in the metro? When was the last time you checked your neural sockets? The pick socket plague is worse than it's ever been. The NCPD received hundreds of complaints in their last cycle from residents who reported having shards stolen from their neural sockets. Damn, so people just going up and like pressing it and like pulling it out, yanking it. Feths largely go uninvestigated due to the police prioritization of violent crime, which has left pick sockets feeling increasingly bold. Exploits used to hack our neuroware are widely available on the black market. So many thieves have shifted focus from our pockets to our sockets. One brief moment of inattention and your private information is flying from your neck into someone's sticky fingers. The NCPD admits tracking such thieves is difficult and a waste of resources, which is why we're here to help keep your info safe with three options to suit any budget. Change your settings to ensure you receive notifications anytime a shard is removed from a neural port. Yeah, because I guess you wouldn't even really notice, right? Because it can just be something if someone just taps that part of the neck. Yeah, unfortunately, this approach leads to a high number of false positives when you're fiddling with your own neural wear. Invest in new sockets. Several new models on the market already have built-in safety and authorization measures to keep shards locked in tight. But if you're pinching every any, this solution could break the bank. Duct tape. Slap on a square of that and those shards aren't going anywhere. On a budget, bad with tech, no regard for style, this is the option for you. <laughs> Just duct tape it. I won't apologize for getting rid of scum. You asked me. Your words worth more than anything. Hey, yo, V. Oh, you just How about a round or two? What do you say? This guy? How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next-gen ass whooping he did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of V. <laughs> so how about it? This is cool. I remember seeing this in one of the early trailers where they were talking about Night, like Night City and what it's all about. You've got like this dude fighting this guy. That's cool. I'm actually really curious to see uh, the trailer stuff translating to this game, especially like this late in the game. And then I remember seeing the E3, I think it was 2019 stuff. And that was when Keanu Reeves came out on stage and it did the reveal of, of uh, him being in the game. And it kind of showed that whole cutscene. So I'm, I'm like highly anticipating that specific part of the game, like that mission. It reveals something about Jackie that I kind of feel is going to happen. I don't know if that is like a choice or maybe something that you can avoid happening. It was kind of a really surprising thing to reveal in a, in a trailer, which is why I think it might be a choice and maybe it's like just something that could happen. I don't know if there are like multiple companions in this RPG and you can like lose some of them along the way like some RPGs do. It might be that kind of situation, but I'm interested to see how the mission plays out meeting with this guy because that trailer has T-Bug in it. It's got Jackie in it. Um, I can't remember the name of the guy um, who gives you the job, but that's going to be intriguing. And then how that plays out, I assume you get thrown into a dump and then that's when you meet uh, Keanu Reeves character. So that's kind of the only thing I really have in my head about the game. That's what I'm interested to see play out. It's like that thought process just um, triggered when I saw this. I'm like, I remember this guy from the trailer. <laughs> you can talk to the training bot. How's it going? Fight's about to start. Not gonna watch? Take notes? Malone versus Hernandez? <laughs> nah. Our chrome friend here don't watch TV. Don't talk neither. Only way he communicates is with them fists. Where'd you get him, Fred? <laughs> Off the street. Saw him looking up at me with these big, sad eyes. So I took the poor pup in, fed him, clothed him. <laughs> nah, for real. He's a military bot. 
got a sweet deal. And a Chuma mine tossed in a few upgrades. Now, here we are. Okay. Let's let's go for it. Let's do this. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. Let's practice our punches. Fist fights. Your fists can be dangerous weapons. In fist fights, you can use them both to strike your enemies and block their attacks. Oh, yep. Oh, oh. I'm gonna run circles around you, punk. Your back is not protected. Oh, you missed. So did I. You bastard. He's he's also light on his feet. Get him out of the ring. Yeah, get fucked. Ever thought of monetizing it? Yeah. What do you say? Are we literally going straight for the wrestling side quest storyline? <laughs> That's funny. I just did that in another game. I became the heavyweight champion. You go in the ring yourself? Not anymore. The call's taking too much of a beating. Reflexes ain't what they used to be. There's ways of fixing that. Karenza cops should do the trick. Rather dish out my eddies for something else. It's time I started taking it easy. You mentioned something about fighting? Hmm. I've seen you land in blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very lucrative. Lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. What are you punching? He's just shadow boxing. All right, beat on the brat. Oh, I get it. Want to get rich off my blood, sweat, and tears. Hey, you got to make a buck somehow, right? At least I'm giving it to you straight. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go. Put down your eddies and start swinging. And when you take home the pot, manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight in the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside Owatsa. Not yet. You can start in Kabuki. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. First thing I do is literally just start getting fucking into fights. We do dialogue while sitting. Yeah, nice. So slow. About those fights you mentioned. V, V, V! If you don't have a titanium skull lining, you're gonna have memory problems in no time. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you wanna go, put down your eddies, and start swinging. Manage to drop every last one of them. Crystal. Good. I believe in you. Cool. I like how fast forwarding is like your, it's like a recording almost and you're just like fast forwarding through just a replay through your cybernetic eyes. That's kind of fun. All right, how do I, all right, give me out of dialogue. Give me out of dialogue. I'm trying to, thank you. Dr. Havoc and Radon. Or Radon. The battery sphere is in dire straits. The I Irinians have occupied almost half the city. Them and their technocrat, techno rat, scourge have transformed almost everyone into hordes of mindless zombies. Battery Arena is now the final point of resistance against the invaders from Planet X. It seems the end is inevitable. That is, until the legendary mercenary pair arrive, just in the nick of time after years of mysterious absence. Amidst the cigar smoke and a glint of chrome armor, Dr. Havoc and Radon slaughter scores of enemies without mercy. After all, who could possibly slow the mighty force of a laser-armed mountain of muscle and his spitfire of sidekick who can transform into a sentient cloud of radioactive gas? I'll tell you, no one so far. Rose, Tenorio, and Martoni Elazar take us into the world of computer games first imagined in the bestseller novel Kibble and Scop by Abe Frost. Fasten your seatbelts and get ready for a roller coaster ride of comic book violence. If you've ever wondered what the action of the battery arena may have looked like Dr. Havoc and Radon is a must buy. Dive in now. That's cool. These are very entertaining reads too, which I like. Oh, that dude is huge. 
I'm getting frame drops and I kind of feel like it's uh, ray tracing related because that's all on ultra lighting. Um, I wonder if I'm able to at least drop it down uh, and see if it doesn't slow down as much. It's still kind of slowing down. It feels like anywhere that's, there's going to be like an insane amount of lighting uh, will be a ray tracing issue. There you go. Yeah, look at that. I turn off ray tracing and look how much smoother it is. And I, I kind of feel like that's always the big hang up for performance in things. It's, it's just ray tracing. You turn that shit on and then everything is like stressing to give you that sort of can, like experience. You can see that like, this is probably where it's going to show the difference the most in the shadows, I think. Like, if I turn this on, I think the ray tracing shadows is probably going to be the biggest distance. Psycho, yeah, that'll put my computer on fire. So let me just do this. Yeah, damn. Look at that. Like, the shadows are so much better here. But the game is like, ugh, it's sluggish as a result. It feels like I'm going to have to just keep ray tracing off. Uh, the shadows will be kind of like, I guess, baked in, like, this is how it looks without any of the ray traced volumetric lighting, blah, 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 but like, it looks good, right? Like, this game looks incredible. I don't necessarily feel like I need ray tracing. I feel like it'll be in like those really finer details, how it stands out, but... It looks, re it looks really good without it, and I think it, it'll be a smoother viewing experience for all of us as well if uh, we turn it off and then we won't have uh, as frequent frame drops. Because it's going to be one of those moments where it's like you walk into a heavily lit area. You walk into a heavily lit area, <laughs> um, and the whole game slows down. We've also got explosive trash bags in the future. After every shot now. The gun. Wilson. Give me my gun, Wilson. Let's have a look. Um this one. Dying Knight. Tier 1 iconic pistol. Wilson's Lexington gives you the additional hope of seeing yet another Night City Sunrise. Increases damage while moving and guarantees shock with rapid hits. Interesting. Upgrading Iconic Weapons. You just acquired an Iconic Weapon. They possess unique abilities. However, they cannot be improved with Weapon Mods. With the appropriate components, Iconic Weapons can be upgraded to a higher tier, which significantly improves their power. You can do this from the Upgrades tab of the Crafting Menu. And iconic Weapons can be found all over Night City. You might receive one from a friend or loot one off an enemy. It's also possible to find some simply lying in the ground or available for purchase at vendors. Some you might even craft yourself. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Um, so, I'm is the mods also... Yeah, mods and attachments are different. Yeah, awesome. So I can put on... You can put on a scope and a muzzle thing. But then actual um, mods are different. Yeah. Pistol with a silencer immediately is like what I want. That's so good. Yeah, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Just starts aiming it at people straight away. Um, how do I... What's the button for putting my weapon away? B. B for... Back out of here! Yeah, nice. Enjoy yourself, Night City. After the break. Cyber psychosis, myth or reality? Stay tuned. You're gonna have to drag me kicking and screaming away from like the TVs <laughs> because I just want to look at it all. Like, what the fuck? I just like, I'm gonna be glued to all of the things and you're gonna have to deal with it. Oh Jesus, hate your meat. My Lord, that's one hell of an ad. Taste the love. <laughs> all, right. all right, I'm ready to leave now. Let me out. I'm a big, big fan of video game graphic design and like fictional advertisements. I love the artwork. I love the sort of thought process and creativity that goes into creating entire fake brands. And this game seems to have so much going on because that's the whole part of the cyberpunk thing. It's like advertisements everywhere. And it's like all of this shit being shoved down your throat, um, you know? And it's just like, 
there's so much to look at and I'm gonna be like wanting to look at all of it. <laughs> it's amazing. So kids and hopscotch. Nice to know hopscotch is well and alive in uh, Night City. Healthcare and traffic safety. Trauma team leads the way. Second-rate equipment, undertrained medical professionals, and high death rates. This is the best Night City's public emergency services have to offer. In addition to poor performance metrics, so too has their public image suffered. Scandals involving city EMTs colluding with scavengers have gone from rare to commonplace. Recent cuts in municipal health care spending have led to the outright collapse of a medical system that already underperformed by most standards in the developed world. Ironically, this so-called reform resulted in a greater drain of doctors, nurses, paramedics, and dispatchers from the public sector, where quality health care was spotty before, now too is even calling the emergency hotline. Should you be among the lucky to reach a dispatcher, expect more than a half hour for an ambulance to arrive. And should you not bleed out before reaching the hospital, you're even less likely to find an available bed. Recent data show a survival rate for traffic accidents in Night City at a meager 17%. For comparison, the average survival rate for traffic accidents across all trauma team policies is 91%. Response time is guaranteed to never exceed three minutes. Heaven on earth? No, the minimum we all deserve. Something to keep in mind as you plan your personal budget. Purchase Trauma Team's Platinum Level coverage for the cost of gold and safeguard your life today. Limited time offer. See, it's crazy that, like, you just know that those bills, that the healthcare and uh, medical care in a cyberpunk, futuristic, United States-based uh, location, that cost is just like your entire life. Is how much is your how much is your life worth? You know, and they can get away with that stuff. Um, I will endeavor to read the things that we come across because it's a great spot of like lore and world building. And and again, I usually sh I should have done this right at the beginning. I should have said, if you're new here, I hope you like reading because I'm going to teach you <laughs> to like reading. Uh, I love to read stuff. I love to get to know the world. I don't like to rush. I do get a lot of people going, this is boring. Hurry up. And to those people, I say, work on your attention spans because you're missing out. And I really love and value the worlds that are built in video gaming. And I love to read it. And a lot of people can listen to it if they like, or they can fast forward if they don't. But I'm not going to skip it and remove that stuff because I think it's valuable. And game developers go to a lot of effort to put this stuff in the video game. Because I think that too many people have an approach to video games, which is rushed through everything have no idea what's going on and then just they don't even know how to feel about it once they finish they're like cool on to the next thing but i really love to when i pick a game to play i am sitting down and i'm getting ready to immerse myself in it completely right i feel mentally prepared to go through the experience which is why i think there's a lot of games on my to-do list that i take time to get to because i just need to i need to feel ready uh and excited to get to it and uh, I am so excited to play Cyberpunk. It's been so overdue. NCPD scanner hustles. The NCPD will pay you to help fight crime because they can't do it themselves. Gigs fixes will contact you when you approach a gigs location and fixes these intermediaries will inform you about local gigs available. All right, I'm going to enjoy doing anything and everything for sure. Okay, so I'm learning if I am getting too close to something, I have the ability to blow shit up just with my personal space. <laughs> Don't get too close to stuff. So this is the Dr. Havoc and Radon stuff, the Legends of Battery Arena. That's cool. Also, everything is, uh, holy shit, dude. Wow. Everything is so detailed. Woman of the hour. Oh, hello. <laughs> Long enough. Up an appetite, just wait. Wow. Holy shit. Let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Yeah, hold on, man. I'm just like taking this in. My lord. Alright, fucking hell. Everyone's got some place to be. Dude. You, would, you just don't mind if I just sit here and take this in for a second? Because, wow. I know that this place is going to be just shit to live in, but I love it. This is literally the first street, dude. And I'm just, I'm just like, stunned. I remember seeing this specific plaza in 
the trailer. I remember seeing this exact spot. Holy shit, dude. Who's observing their children? Okay. Wow. Jackie, have you seen this place? It's amazing. Didn't figure you as the type for Asian. Would have thought you'd find it too exotic. What do you mean? What's there not to like? Noodles? Check. Synth sirloin? Check. Get some more chile action up in here and you're looking at Mama Well's signature sopa de fideos. <laughs> Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that he's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. That's the guy. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold plated cool. Nice. Okay. Uh, Dexter Deshaun. That's that dude from the trailer that I that I recognized. So I'm really excited to get past that because once we get past that part of the game, there's like nothing in my head of what I what I like know, which is so exciting. Also, I'm gonna have no attention span in conversation. I'll be listening, but I'll just be like, huh, <laughs> just looking at fucking everything. How did you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You and me? Oh, but T-Bug, she's the one that hooked us up. Phrasing. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. Dexter Deshaun. What's the latest spec on him? No, you got info to spill. He'd been off the grid for about two years. Word on the street was he took a little vacay. Two years? That's exile, not a vacation. How was he up to? Uh, guessing he shoved pizzas in his mouth while jerking off to hardcore virtues. Important thing is he's back. He's a fresh crew, and he found us. Okay. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Well, our savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. No pressure, but old deal's riding on you now, chica. All right, let's hear what old Dex has to say. Set it up. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong, don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm saying? No, really, no. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling, saying you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nifty tool for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit pie their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. Gracias, Dios. Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. Ah, oh, they actually emptied it. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. You can call your active vehicle to your current location with V. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's go. Let's feel this factory new ride. If I call my car, where does it go? That's so interesting. Oh, that's my car. It just stops in the middle of a crossing. That's so funny. God damn. Okay. So the Dexter Deshaun stuff is like the first proper mission that you do. Damn. So the stuff that I've seen in the game is all just really, really super early then, which is which is so fine with me. I'm driving. Okay, so I call my car and it has like a autopilot. First stop. That's cool. 
Ripper Duck drives me to my location. Easy on the gas, eh? I just ate. Mm -mm. Cool. Okay, we've done a. I'm supposed to stop by Vix anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. Nobody's walking, so I'm just gonna run this light. Uh, now we've done a little bit of driving already in uh, the Nomad life path, so we're not unfamiliar. But I guess this is the first time that you properly drive because you only ride as a passenger in uh, the Corpo V story. Look at us, we're driving like we're following the road rules, except uh, I'm running all the, of the crossings at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, this is it. Come on, V. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. I'm so excited to like properly drive around the the city, of course. Big moves, Chica. But for now, we'll stick to what we're supposed to do. Not a bad starting car. This is cool. Now, we know from our emails we can buy vehicles, so I'm really excited to see what's in here. I've seen an image of a Porsche 911, and I want that. <laughs> I, I fucking love the Porsche 911. Uh, so that would be nice. Uh, yeah, very interesting wall, bro. <laughs> very interesting wall. Tourist information. I'm a tourist. Oh, this is fast travel? Select destination. Oh shit. Okay, you can fast travel. Oh, should we have a look at the city that we're in? My lord, okay. That's fun. Is this where the Nomad start is? Because it's like out of the city? I feel like this might be where we started as a Nomad. Cool. And filter between the job, service stuff, cust- oh, you can custom it. Tarot reading. Dynamic. And my apartment. Cool. Alright. Won't engage with that yet. I thought that said poo. Something that we're definitely going to have to deal with as well uh, to start is... You know, when I first start a video game and I'm in a brand new world, I spend like the first few episodes just going like, whoa, and soaking everything in and being super impressed. And then obviously we'll, um, we'll reach a point where we start navigating environments a little faster. We found the twins. What's the deal with the, what's the deal with this, with the skull? But you are not the masters of your memories, for your eyes do not belong to you, or rather, not only to you. The NPCs are like both good and not good at the same time, because there's like so many of them, and the details of them are incredible. But then, like, they kind of bounce around a little bit, and they have interesting walking patterns. Even within us, your joys, your worries, your life, for them it is all mere spectacle. We got a dude that's like anti, um, anti implants. Let's just say you're right. So what? Should I just get Gary the prophet? Oh, thanks, but no thanks. You are beyond salvation, but not the children of the future. Life untainted by surgery of the sacrilege. We can yet save them. May the mothers shield their bodies. May the fathers instill their hatred for Chrome. But who are those who follow our every step, you ask? Why, the titans of entertainment in Alpha Centauri! In their wretchedness, they placate their weary and oppressed masses by putting our laughter, our tears, on full oh display! God. Look, a real conspiracy guy, like in that show! Like, <laughs> I'll snap a still of you arresting him for revealing government secrets. Open your mind! They're just taking photos with him. Look, a conspiracy guy. <laughs> oh my god, dude, this is great. Jessica will like die when she sees this. Like, this is Max Nova. I just can't. Max Nova. 
How do you feel now, buddy? <laughs> I recognize you. You come here often. Your eyes tell me that your mind has opened to the truth. Will you provide a humble donation so that I may continue my mission? Fuck no. I love being in cyberpunk land. I wish I could have a cybernetic spine. Like if I had one choice for a cybernetic upgrade to my body, a cybernetic spine. Because just imagine, right? That's so important to your whole entire body. Just imagine you have a little bit of back pain. Your cybernetic spine just imp like, like injects a little muscle relaxant into your shoulders and like, oh my God. Wouldn't that just be amazing? Cybernetic spine, for sure. Get a job. Open your mind, freak. Use it to get a job. Slap his hand away. What good will come of it if they bear the fruits of our labor? And then we beat him up. Oh no, that's a gun. And then we beat him up. Oh, that's another gun. Where's the... Where's... <laughs> Shit. I only have... <laughs> ah, there we... There we go. Yeah! <laughs> Holy shit, that katana opening animation is so sick. What the fuck? Oh, you only do it once? For they are coming! Oh, prepare yourself for a decapitation. <laughs> fuck yeah. before it is too late! If you turn a blind eye to their existence, they have already Misty's esoterica and chakra harmonization. We're just all admiring this in the window. Let those with oh, hey there. And those with <laughs> oh. Hey, hey! I, I'm, I'm trapped. Jack! I was trapped admiring the women. For they are coming. I saw an open spot and I wasn't allowed in it. Barely illegal. Okay. We should be friends. Close friends. Oh, the see-through top with the tattoos? God damn, the, the designs are so incredible. Oh, dude. Holy shit. Holographic reconstruction of crime scene? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, oh sorry, man. Oh, God, they're all getting pissed off at me. Come on, come on, guys. I just wanted to observe what's going on here. I'm curious. Oh, that's so cool. They can holographically reconstruct a crime scene. Wow. Is there anyone you can, like, talk to about this stuff? Or they all just say, fuck you, get away from here. Right, focus. Ah, oh, this is where Jackie gets all his stuff, huh? Envy. We all have the same shit in our... Uh, I've got that on my shelf. And those with eyes behold. Okay, this is so Blade Runner. They're Maybe. Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. Okay, so this is Misty that we saw in the six months little uh, montage. She got the Blade Runner hair too. For easier living. But we got a new job lined up from a big hitter at the afterlife. Oh, is it gonna be dangerous? Don't you worry, mi amor. We're bulletproof. Cyber chakras. That's cool. Oh, I love the mix between like cyber futuristic stuff and then also spiritual stuff together. It's incredible. The world as will and idea. But besides all this, death is the great opportunity no longer to be I, to him who uses it. During life, the will of man is without freedom. His action takes place with necessity upon the basis of his unalterable character in the chain of motives. But everyone remembers much that he has done, and on account of which he is by no means satisfied with himself. If now he were to go on living, he would go on acting in the same way, on account of the unalterable nature of his character. Accordingly, he must cease to be what he is in order to be able to arise out of the germ of his nature as a new and different being. Therefore, death loses these bonds, and the will again becomes free, for freedom lies in the essay, not in the opera. And then it cuts off. Arthur Schopenhauer. Okay. And they say I've got my head in the clouds. Earth to be! Yeah, th you, that's what every NPC is going to think about me. I'm literally going to be so head in the clouds, dude. That's so cool. Horoscope Storyteller Group. 
I like how the things to read are not like too crazy either. Like they're not super long. This is probably the longest thing that we've seen because it's horoscope related. Let's pick out my horoscope. Let's find it. Storyteller group. Clients from group storyteller. Oh, they're just particular clients. Uh, excuse me? There's no cancer clients? Fuck you. I don't even want to read it now out of spite. <laughs> God damn it. I'm not represented here. You did it again. You rolled up your sleeves and cleaned the orgy and stables. Everyone admires you, but you know that your only reward will be the next task you're given. There are not many like you in Night City, but without you, the city would have turned uh, into shadows and dust long ago. Avoid flirty AIs that try to impress you with their knowledge of ancient Greek. Your lucky place, the net. So there's clients and there's horoscopes. That's very interesting. Where's mine? Let me input my birthday. Give me one. I want a cyber horoscope. Let those with ears listen and those with eyes behold. <laughs> oh, cat. Oh my god, you pat the cat. Yes. There we go. I love Sphinx cats. Excuse me, kid. What the fuck? <laughs> Ma'am, is this your son? Why do you have him? Oh my god, why does he sound like a man? Everything sucks. Okay, no, he sounds like a child. But you heard that, right? He went... He's got, a, he's got a manly mumble, but a childish voice. Uh -huh. Nope, that's the voice of a man right there, if I've ever heard one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my god, his balls dropped immediately. At least the cat is getting fed. That's a nice fo uh, full food bowl that I can respect. Homeless, but he got that hookup with the computer. Drops his guard. Oh, you can see the fatigue. Oh, yeah. Interrupt dialogue with a tutorial. That's a great move. Ripper Doc. Though a common practice, cyberware installation is still a dangerous and invasive procedure which can only be performed by qualified specialists. Ripper Docs. There are several Ripper Docs operating throughout Night City who offer a variety of different cyberware upgrades. Select your desired cybernetic upgrade from the list and enjoy your new abilities. You could have given that to me maybe after the dialogue. I as ever, you old ripper. Good to see you. Good to see you too, V. It's been a while. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Oh, kitten caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. Gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshawn. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But? Something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit. But tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean. Hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Oh, imagine just like starting. I wonder, could you, is that possible? Could you just do a bunch of extra side stuff and get 21K? That's uh, crazy. Me? Yeah. Sorry, I'm gonna owe you, buddy. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time, you hear? Okay. Look how good this looks. See, who needs ray tracing? Like the yeah. smoke effects are crazy Sit too. Down. Relax. Fix this goddamn system malfunction. 
Imagine having a constant notification on your eyes. That's the future. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Yo. Cyber eyes. Dude, that's like... Oh, oh, like... They take out your actual eyes, like, right? They would remove... It looks like it's only, like, the front of the eyeball. So what would they do? Like, I'm just trying to think, because they would keep your eyes that are in here, but then they would, like, take off part of your eyeball, and then, like, oh, eey. I'll just get glasses, thanks. <laughs> That's the thing. It's like, I don't wear contacts because the idea of something touching my eyes, yeah, no way. Uh, so going in for a full cybernetic eye reconstruction, I mean, I could probably, if they put me under and I woke up with brand new spanking eyeballs, maybe that's a little bit different. Um, but just like, oh, the idea it makes me feel sick. Kuroshi, whoa. Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. Damn, nice fella. All right, let's jack in. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Ah, oh, cool. This is our little cyberware tutorial. Everything is so fun and exciting to learn right now. All right, face. Improves your vision and allows you to highlight environmental clues and improves your ranged combat skills. Basic Kuroshi optics. So minus 20% camera detection speed and four times optical zoom when scanning. That's cool. Looted cyberware can be installed or sold at any clinic. Ballistic Coprocessor. Increased ricochet chance with power weapons and directly links the user's optical implant to the weapon's system, offering real-time weapon info. Okay, that's fun. That's so cool. That's going to be my most repeated word that I probably say throughout the whole thing. I'll be like, that's so cool. What is it? Inter integ <laughs> integumentary system. Uh, it improves armor and damage resistance. Subdermal armor. Cool. So this is the side over here. My resistance to damage. Gotcha. And then you've got like nervous system. Okay, so you can start buying stuff like reflex tuner, visual cortex. All right, this will be. This is gonna be fun. You got like skeleton stuff, frontal cortex. Oh man, look at all the details in my cyber brain. Cool. So at the moment, my limit is 27. You got operating systems as well. Circulatory system. Oh. Oh, that's so wild. My legs. No cyberware to install. All right. That's cool. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Oh, medical procedures make me squeamish. Don't make me watch it. That major league arm of yours right here. I love that cracked leather detailing. So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town, but been sleeping nights ever since. 
I like that he was like watching the wrestling and he's got like a whole fighting tattoo sleeve. You like really get a sense of like the character and what he likes straight away, which is kind of fun. Me waiting all day. Yes. Just like that. Thanks. Now a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Oh, that leaves such a mark, dude. Feel anything? <laughs> play by play, though. <laughs> really, Doc? Makes you sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky gannic hand. Could slip. Oh, he's gonna take my eyeball out. Oh, but I can still hear because I'm awake. He's just taking my eyeball out. Yeah. Oh, that's so weird. Okay, let's test this. Let's see the magic in action. Linking you in. Oh, no, and you can see outside you of your eye. Right. a little oh. discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Oh. I can see outside of myself. Oh, it's so bizarre. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? God, that's wild. I'm blurry. There we go. I've come in. Oh, that's so crazy. Oh, and my my hand has changed. He's been cutting into it. Uh, v. My God, that's how we can have a, a third person camera. I'll just uh, mount uh, my eyeball onto my shoulder. <laughs> Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Okay, guys. <laughs> give me the tutorial pop-ups after the dialogue. I'm begging you, because <laughs> that, that is disruptive. That's more disruptive than me talking. <laughs> Scanning people with your optical cyberware can provide you with a lot of useful information, such as how strong an enemy might be, who's in their crew, what type of weapon they use. As a skilled net runner, you can see a list of quick hacks which you can use against your enemies. Kinda wanna be a net runner so bad. You're so cool. All right. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, Ooh. but first time's rarely the charm <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. That's so cool. Imagine being able to zoom in with your own eyes like that. NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. Mm -hmm. That's really, really sick. A database of wanted persons with bounties assigned to them is now available to use. You can identify these wanted persons with your scanner. Since all are wanted dead or alive, the methods you use to claim the reward are entirely up to you. Oh my god, I'm going to become a bounty hunter. Cyberpunk bounty hunter net runner guy. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. That's fun. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. That's not my gun. Where's my silencer? <laughs> okay, cool. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Nice. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say so you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stim. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. You're the best, Vic. I owe you. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Mm -hmm. Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now every last fighter's got extra skull lining. Absorb 75% of every blow. <laughs> Jackie texted me. He's like, what's taking so long? I'm soaking it in, baby. 
Got cash riding on this? Nah, just looking. <laughs> it's out of habit more than anything else. Miss it, don't you? Ah. Uh... Oh, there you go. How's Biz going? Uh, can't complain. Corporals learn to keep their distance, and Sokka's back hiring lone mercs. They all gotta have the newest, shiniest implants. Thing you got Misty here to help. Handles your griping well. Yeah, renting out her shop's the best decision I ever made. Know what? Seems like you're the only person in Night City who's happy with his lot. You get to a certain age, you drop all your illusions. Life just gets easier from there. Cool. All right, then I can pay him back at some point. I wonder if he'll have anything to say about me doing my, uh, like, wrestling side quest. Because he loves it. All right, that was really, really cool. I love that a lot. Could he, like, do car upgrades as well? Like, I could take my car in here? Just got a whole garage. Alright, fun. Let's get out of here. Action blocked. I can't pull out my fisty cuffs in here. Oh yeah, hang on. I can on my phone, right? So I can pull this out. Coach Fred, fight night. And then he said, go to Kabuki. Arroyo. What the fuck? Arroyo is the name of the village that you come from in Fallout 2. I'm literally playing Fallout 2 at the moment. That's what I was telling you about with uh, how I became the heavyweight champion in another game in Fallout 2. Oh, that's really weird. That's a strange crossover. Come on, V, what's taking so long? Move your ass, Chica. Dex is waiting on us. Oh, and I can call him as well? Does he answer? He'd be like, why didn't you just text me back? No, okay. <laughs> He's like, just text me back, bro. Yeah. Wait. Wait, that wasn't your cat? Now it's just alone? Cat actually ate its food. Interesting detail. Are you just a street cat? Well, let's get you adopted. We'll bring you in here. <laughs> a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. You just interrupted your lady. Right, for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked. Next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Gramsci Burgers. They wish to rule, to control your executive. <laughs> Sorry, I'm very clumsy. Brand new hands. <laughs> Don't get too close to anything because it just explodes. Um, How's biz, Misty? Booming? <sighs> You're the first person to walk in here for two days. And two days ago, it was a pizza guy. Got lost. People in this town, they've lost their spiritual connection. But well, you know, I'm here to serve them, not the other way around. Who is this? I know this voice. How's biz, Misty? Booming? <sighs> You're the first person to walk in here for two days. And two days ago, it was a pizza guy. Got lost. People in this town, they've lost their spiritual connection. But well, you know, I'm here to serve them, not the other way around. Ah! Who is that? I know who that is. Damn it, it's not coming to me. I just know that it's a voice I recognize. Oh! Jesse from Final Fantasy VII Remake. Gotcha. There it is. A little bit of a delay. Listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. 
Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. <sighs> okay. Thanks, Regina. Incapacitating enemies. There are various ways to incapacitate without killing them. Non-lethal takedowns, quick hacks, non-lethal weapons. Smack them in the head. That's nice. <laughs> Just smack them in the head. EMP grenades and some combat gadgets and weapon mods that change damage to non-lethal. Could you, like, change a pistol to, like, stun rounds or something? Maybe. And it will be mentioned in the description. Cool. Psycho killer. Can I just... wait. It's like... Okay. Some of the side quests just seem like they're intentionally, like, song titles. <laughs> um, high risk, high reward, as Dexter Deshaun likes to say. First rule of the afterlife. So this is it, V. Time to go in, grab the bull by the horns, and make a name for ourselves. But first, let's hear what Dexter Sean has to say. There he is. Dex never sh shot hoops, jumped roofs, or pulled a trigger. Likewise, he never felt the need to plant his fat ass in a net runner's chair or splice cables in a sooty garage. Wait, never pulled a trigger? Yep, that's right. Dex never popped lead in his entire life. People, that's what Dex was good at. Dex is one of the biggest fixes in Night City. He's a pretty big deal, both literally and figuratively. Word on the street is that there were complications from his last job, but that's just the nature of biz, ain't it? Besides, when someone like Dexter Deshaun has a gig for you, you don't ask questions, you just shake on it. Interesting. Wow, he's never fired lead in his life, but he does in that trailer. <laughs> All right, cool. Meet with Dex. Is that person's arms in their body? Yes. <laughs> Oh god, I've put up my gun while driving. <laughs> Drawing your weapon while driving enables combat, allowing you to drive and shoot at the same time. You can use pistols and some machine guns while sitting behind the wheel. Fuck, really? What the fuck? Oh, that's so cool. I assumed you could only like do combat. What the fuck. Assumed you could only do combat while you were in a like a passenger. That's cool. Oops. <laughs> I'm distracted by what's going on over there. People are just having a fucking shootout. Probably have to get used to that. Oh man. I'm trying to be immersive and drive in first person, but I'm gonna get into so many crashes. Oh, wait a minute, I've already gone past my, uh... Hold on. I've already gone past my, uh... uh there we go, let me just park here real quick. There we go, perfect driving. <laughs> I think I might, I like... I'm used to driving in, I'm a third person camera driver, so I might end up switching it, but um, I'm just trying to focus on that immersion for now. Hostile situations. Night City is famous for its brutality. Falling victim to crime is a common part of daily life for many Night City residents, and I didn't read fast enough. Ooh. There he is. waiting for me. Yo, Miss V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. <laughs> Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Oh, my car's gone. Live in pieces, miss nobody. Die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine. Or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th. Okay. I was going to just say, I wonder what happens if we park our car in front there, but it disappears. You're either somebody or you fizzle out into nothing. Night City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. See, in my line of work, I choose to be Mr. Chill, but folk who try to take advantage, well, they see the beast inside. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Hang on, got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Bug sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, 
that I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and Sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Hmm. Guessing it belongs to a corp? Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Tough. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs act of resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Oh, can I choose both? Client. What's her thing? Why does she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know will be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. Oh, cool. We can choose both. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to the shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Oh, cool. Okay, we're starting to see the life path stuff coming in. So I've got the corpo choice. Love that. And you would naturally want to pick that. That's awesome. Um, something that I was just quickly going to say as well is I think some of that image... Uh, some of those images ring a bell as well. I remember seeing that dude's face with all of the fucked up cyber thing and that Militech thing from a trailer as well. So I think this whole thing, this whole mission is like I've bits and pieces I have seen and I do want to be like straight up and honest about that because I know we have blind playthrough in the title and the first episode is like there's an asterisk because it's like I've seen some trailers. So we'll be honest about the stuff that we've seen naturally. Um, so it's cool that we're seeing this and it's all packed into this one mission because hopefully once we get past that, uh, nothing is familiar. Royce guy, what's he like? A straight psychopath, chrome loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that, except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop. Then the rest goes goulash. Mm -hmm. All right. Corporal agent, what's she playing at? Hell if I know. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip-tied in her trunk. Mm. 
Sounds like she was waiting on the transport, got stood up. Monochrome in the back's probably her chief suspect. Got nothing from him or on him, so she's keeping him just in case. But she needs to find the stolen gear before her bosses learn she fucked up. Well, Miss V, that is some impressive deduction. Naturally, use that intel as you please. Preferably well. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Miss V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Okay. Cool. Where'd you drop me? Where am I? Street cred. Performing certain actions will reward you with street cred. Building a street cred to make a name for yourself in Night City Underworld. Doing so will open up new opportunities. Fuck yeah. There you go. Look, they gave me a tutorial after the dialogue. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nine, yeah. Claim to want to check our pro cred. But to me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot military prototype. Maelstrom clipped it, then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Right, right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick, hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent too, but don't know how much help she stands to be. Bro, shut the fuck up, please. I know that the car was driving ridiculously slow before and have now stopped in the middle of the road, but like, stop. Oh my god, I need to go away from the buzzer. <laughs> I need to go away from the horns. Get me, get me away from the noise. Just fucking hell. Yeah, you don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Damn. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table, Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. He must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Um... Client first. That makes sense. Parker. Think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. Morale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Hasta luego. Makes sense to see her first, I think. Go to Lizzie's bar between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. Oh my god, those cars just disappeared. Because he, like, Dex is still there, look. This dude's literally stuck. Rough night. What are you doing, guys? What are you doing, guys? Drive! I <laughs> should drive! It's not that. Then we hijack the car. Oh, Dex just texted me. <laughs> He's like, how about stop jumping on my car? What are you texting me, Dex? Miss V, I just want to remind you again that Eddies have already changed hands between me and my esteemed Maelstrom partners in beers. Around some 10k need to be precise, so when you're there, they take it off their hands. Don't let them try to shake you down as they're liable to do, Maelstrom being Maelstrom. I can reply to my text messages. Thanks for the info. You'll need it. Best of luck. That's cool. You can respond to texts. Miss V, how about a little something to get those taste buds tingling? The biochip in question is, in fact, the so-called relic. Oh, and we've read about that. A Nova-tier piece of tech catering to the top 1%. Supposedly the best life insurance money can buy. You and I are going to be neck deep in eddies. Damn. Okay. It's the relic. Victor Vector, a little present. Hey V, thought just occurred to me. Can't start your career in the major leagues, right, by sporting some rag of a t-shirt. 
The wind blows a lot stronger up there on top of the world. Old timers like me hate to watch your kids catch cold. Left a couple of things in your stash at your apartment. Give them an honest try and I bet they'll fit you just right. Oh, that's cool. Wow, thanks Vic. Won't hear me say no to th free threads. I love how these guys are always on their phones. They're able to respond immediately. <laughs> Glad to hear it. They were just collecting dust on my closet floor anyway. Much rather give them a good new home than sell them for a couple of ennies or trash them. Ennies? So there's eddies and ennies? Okay. Too many, too many words. Okay. Um, so. Anyway, I hope they serve you well. As they say, style is supreme. Or maybe they don't anymore. I don't know. <laughs> That's cool. Um, go to Lizzie's bar between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. and it's currently 12 p.m. So we gotta wait six hours. Um, Alright, I'll pull, call my car. A Hella ECD. The call vehicle feature is currently in beta. Please note that the vehicle may not detect certain obstacles, including people. You are fully responsible for your vehicle when using this feature. That's kind of hilarious. Okay, confirm. And you can choose a favorite car. Right, where's my car at? Oh, I can see it on the map. Nice. Get in. Alright, let's change my camera. Give it a bit of third person driving. I love the sound of it, it sounds cool. Do we have the option to... Oh, it's currently 7.16pm. Wait, it was 12pm before. Does calling my vehicle mean I just waited seven hours for it to arrive? What the fuck? Alright, well, I mean, I can now go to Lizzie's bar without having to wait, because I was just going to talk about wondering if I had to... if there was a wait option to allow time to pass. Alright, now, we've been to Lizzie's bar, but only on the top part. Um, Alright, how do I get in here without uh, being an idiot on the road? Let's drive in. <laughs> uh, we got a parking space here, ready? We're gonna do a reverse park. First try. Yeah, look at that, fucking prist pristine parking. Without, without even to struggle. <laughs> We're parking our car. This is bar. Hey there, doll face. Interest you in a preem BD? Mox. Oh, been here before. Not my first time. Don't remember you. Cause I didn't get in through the front. Ooh. Huh, get a load of this one. Right. Rules are simple. Someone catches your eye, you do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. No recording, no cop and feels when the guards ain't looking. In you go. Have fun, doll. Welcome to Lizzie's. It, the fashion. Incredible. The, the gun holster is such a great vibe. My, what a sweet little face you have. <laughs> Fuck's sake, dude. What's up? This is so cool, All right? It's actually playing music this time. Pretty doctor already. Yeah, no surprise there. Last time I had to put my own music in. And that's where I was when it, all of the shit went down. Brain dance stuff is crazy. Maybe you can tell me about it over a drink. Hey, another round over here, Stat. So, what can a horny girl like me do for a hungry guy like you? Come on, you guys are just watching. Sprinkles or kinkier wax. Maybe a. It's interesting to see like Zappy. people that look very like normal, like they they just look at like an average person like no cybernetics or anything we're in high heels blindfolds big games mm, no problem you buying a rent rent 
How much? Relax. It'll go on your tab. Think I got just the thing. Hey. Get you something. God damn. So detailed. <laughs> Lizzie still work here? So curious. The name Lizzie's. That the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Oh, now I'm just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Girls were paid right, insured, even had decent security. Good spot, all in all. Interesting. Nah, stories of the golden days. Inevitable demise and the inevitable drink over sweet memories. Tall what makes the tall tales easier to swallow. So, what went wrong? Tiger Claws shot up Lizzie. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad ones. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. Gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. Big boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed up, out of respect. And biz booms to this day. Interesting. <laughs> I better get going. I can just, like, literally leave. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? Name's V. I can say a big tipper. Interesting. That's my, what is that? That's my cool points? You gonna say something? A big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Oh, hello. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Sense on. Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Mm. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Okay. Ooh. This is cool. So I get to see my di what influences my dialogue choices here based well, on the stats that I've what do you think? put points into. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. <laughs> she reminds me of, um, I don't know if anybody's seen the movie Gamer. Uh, it's a Gerard Butler movie. And it's, it's like a futuristic little, got some cyberpunk to it as well. It's like in the future when video games uh, that you like, people that are in like prison um, serve, I can't remember like the, the concept of it. They get like used as like avatars for people who play like virtual reality video games, but you're like controlling another person to like summarize it. And there's like multiple different types of video games. Like there's like a, MMO like meeting people thing and it's like disgusting or there's like uh you know you've got your shooter games and stuff but it's like real people they're like convicts um it's a very interesting movie I haven't seen it in so so long but that woman just straight up I was like looks exactly like a character from that movie that's all I could think of this one's mean very similar you'll feel nothing's wrong everywhere. really why don't you just tell me the truth I just told you. I just told you. Hang on. Uh, Family of Empire. I don't know if I'll be able to read this. I'll take it, and we'll read it after. I just don't know if I'll be able to take it after this scene. I might get, like, booted out or something. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional effective and trustworthy 
I hope he wasn't overselling. I'm the best. Okay. I feel like I'll, I'll be drawn to options that are based on my character's build, I think. You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? No. Just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? You write in Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Huh. Curious. <laughs> Why is that the terminology? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, just, he fingered me for this job, all right? My lord. Shit, buzz Dex right now if you're getting cold feet. I can wait. I doubt he'd add anything I haven't already heard. Anything I'd really like to hear, for that matter. There's only one other bunch that's worse than fixers in that respect. Used car salesmen. <laughs> I'll go with my gut for now. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? I will say it is, it is quite interesting having the corpo option being like, my background is, yeah, I'm familiar with this stuff. Um, and this is v? technically why I think Nomad is one of the better starts to have in the game, purely for the fact that you're brand new to everything. So you learn about everything, I suppose. You don't have that, yeah, done this, been there, done that attitude. Or even with Street Kid, you were in the city, but you went away and came back. And um, Nomad is the basically, I've never been here before in my life. Um, so it's a it's an interesting sort of there's a role play angle with Corpo that works super well if you're like replaying it, but then um, less so being a fresh faced player. Because I'm assuming like if you say that you're not familiar or you've never had the opportunity, maybe you get a little more information instead of just being like, yeah, I know what you're talking about, you know? You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? In Night City? Huh. Guess the scream sheets weren't lying this time. It's on the lips of everyone in the city. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son, heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire, in town. <laughs> Please. Could it be? Emperor's prepared to cede his throne after 150 years? Doubt it. Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Uh, something that's really satisfying about Evelyn is uh, the, like, the accent, or the accent or the pronunciation of like Arasaka and like using names because it's like said with like properly. Meanwhile, V's like Arasaka, which is how I would say it as well because I'm pretty useless with that. So it's it's kind of satisfying to listen to the voice acting there, uh, Evelyn putting in that that little detail uh, for the pronunciation. I appreciate it. Sounds great. So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yori's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Even so, it's still Yorinobu fucking Arasaka. Top dog like you are Nobu's been to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. 
Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Nope, don't buy it. Netwatch's integrity rests on their neutrality. Why would they tarnish their rep by procuring stolen goods? Netwatch provides net security for all corporations, and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game, and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. So what's your Nobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you will make sure the transaction never happens and I get the chip. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding it? Likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Ah, uh, this is cool. Optional stuff is great, too. Heard a bit about Yorinobu. Studied finance and biotech in Tokyo, probably to please his father. Mm-hmm. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu cut himself off from the corp. Joined the Steel Dragons, Nomads, from Tokyo. Heard they were planning an Arasaka coup or its downfall. Hmm. That flash of youthful rebellion ended like it usually does. Yorinobu returned to the fold, but the bitter taste remained. You know your stuff. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has his own designs on the corp. I like this stuff. Uh, I'm enjoying the fact that we can use the corpo stuff to push for more dialogue instead of it being like, yeah, I know this and I know that. V? Instead, it can serve us in better ways. Seems to be risking everything with this relic scam. Yes, because he's fallen for the biggest lie this town puts forward. That he can gain and retain control. Of anything. One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant. Entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. All right. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits? Jacking off to in those boxes? No. They can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp. I understand. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Sorry, Yorinobu's suite. I'll do the glorious interior. You like anything You'll else? need to locate the relic yourself. I, uh, Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Relax. Damn. I like how when you're following a character, your, your character automatically walks so you can like cinematically, you know, keep up yeah. instead of running too far. Hey, I've already read that. That's fine. If I take it, what happens though? Because it says read message, then it just like pops up again. Kiss my tits, but <laughs> Kiss my tits, sure. Um. Oh yeah, true. 
I can read this information here. I'll do that after. Um, in terms of shards, I've got some stuff that I apparently haven't read yet. I think I remember reading some of that. What was the one that I picked up? Um, it was a family of empire that I picked up in that room. You release brain dancers emergency on demand. I don't think we've read these. Can't remember these. Um, and I wish that there was an option to mark them as unread now. <laughs> um, let me just write it down. I'm just gonna I've got my notepad with me. I'm just gonna write down the ones that I haven't read yet. Alright, got that written down. We'll come back to those shards another time. Oh, I've actually got a level up. Uh, hold on. Level up. We got two attribute points available. God, that would have come in that could have come in handy in um dialogue. Okay. Um let's acquire some technical ability. And I'm also gonna put another one into reflexes. Uh, now perk points. Um, when crouched, more movement speed. Brood warrior, killer instinct. Oh, an extra twenty-five percent chance with silenced guns outside of combat. Considering the fact that I do have a silenced pistol. I'm gonna get that. So they've got like sub ones too. So you've got like landing attack on an enemy right after they detect you will delay detection from other enemies. And movement speed after neutralizing an enemy while undetected. That's cool. Okay. Sweet. Um, so we've got slippery. The faster you move, the more difficult for enemies to shoot you. Allows you to reload while sprinting and doing other things. Shoot while sprinting. Slide distance. Bolting and climbing speed. That's a useful one. Uh, we actually can't even start with body until we're at four. So, fuck, maybe I should have put... Uh, does that reset? Oh god, that just resets all of them. You can only do this once. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> we'll do that later. Uh, ram recovery rate, vehicle quick hacks, and highlights, nearby access points, and cameras. I do that. Give an automatic one. Cool. Leveled up. So we're gonna do a brain dance. You recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why you object? Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You, uh, know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Alright, strictly business. Help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So you'll be a good girl, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Yes, ma'am. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. The Mox. Okay, we'll read this because this is about this group. It's one of those stories that is either very simple or very complicated, depending on who you ask. For Janus, it was a mix of both. The Mox came to exist because it had to. We didn't have a soul in our corner. We wanted to make sure street justice was on our side, so we took matters into our own hands. The Mox is composed of the people who, if any of them disappeared from the streets tomorrow, you might never even notice. Sex workers, endless artists, aimless rebels, and restless souls who weren't dealt a fair hand in life. Today, the box is thriving as demonstrated by the booming biz at Lizzie's Bar. Lizzie's is renowned for being arguably the best brain dance club in Night City, 
Corporate suits, gangoons, pop stars, and locals alike all gather at Lizzie's to kick back, have a drink, and dip into the most beautifully scrolled and tuned BDs you've ever experienced. Most customers, however, are oblivious to the fact that the club is gang-owned and operated, that the mocks are in charge, watching after their own, just like the Lizzie of Legend once did. Know the story? Lizzie used to work here back when it was just a typical dive with a stripper pole, Janice proudly explained. She took care of the girls, made sure Eddies were falling into their pockets and their teeth weren't falling to the curb. Like this one time, this fucker, editor's note referring to a Tiger Claws gang member, was having too much fun with one of the girls, and Lizzie just couldn't stomach it anymore. The story is she deprived the worm of his little tiger balls so quick and nasty it took them two days to clean up all the blood and puke splatter. Of course, the Claws found out fast, and they flatlined her in a flash. But everyone that she had impacted in some way, they were still around. They came together, fought back, and, well, you already know the rest. God damn. So yeah, we'll, we'll read the things that kind of stand out as uh, relevant information surrounding what we're currently doing, and then we can save the other ones for, for later. So these, for example, the brain dance, Bushido 9. Are they like actual like Game Boy cartridges? <laughs> As Braindance popularity spread, public opinion divided into two camps, those who saw the new technology as a revelation and those who saw it as a threat. Some predicted Braindance would save humanity as we know it, bringing an end to unnecessary conflict and ushering, into us, an, ushering us into a new utopian age of mutual understanding and respect. After all, the argument went, if you look at yourself from your enemy's point of view, if you understand him deeply and vice versa, he ceases to be your enemy. Others, however, foresaw a wave of new addictions, deepening isolation and societal division, even a crisis of identity. In the end, the market proved both views right. Braindance became an everyday product, another form of entertainment, and also a new form of surveillance. In essence, Braindance is the transfer of the conscious experiences of the person who recorded or scrolled them to the one who relives them. The raw material must first be processed or edited before it can be used. That's such an interesting experience. Evelyn Parker. She's a beautiful enigma. She looks the part of a high-ranking corpo, but arranges meetups at street gang dive bars. She seems a wealthy, worldly woman, but rounds up to a ragtag bunch of rookie mercs for a high-profile high clep job. She's humorous and charming, yet drives a hard bargain. She puts her faith in professionals, but wants to pull the strings all the same. When it comes to Evelyn, only one thing is certain you must tread carefully. Her beauty, cunning, and fierce determination combine for a potentially Volatile mix. All right. Yeah. V. Yeah. I'm looking around. <clears throat> hey, there you are. This is V. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy, best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. <laughs> Ah, oh, I can't. Damn it. Impressive looking setup. Need all this to process brain dances? Mm-hmm. Analyzers, sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors, facial expression translators. <clears throat> Judy. All right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to her. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. Mm -hmm. So, we drop V inside? Let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? What do you mean by raw? How's this differ from the ready-mades? Huh. Ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass-market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced-in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Viro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Cool. Okay. That's fun. 
Rain Dance's concepts. Ugh. BD of a woman giving birth. Okay. Nobody's done it yet. Uh, you have to hook up a prenatal wreath, which is much more expensive. BDs of the most common dreams compilation. Pro, it's doable. Con, I'll have to consistently scroll the dreams of a dozen, couple dozen people over at least one year to catch the repeating themes. Flying, swimming, falling, going to work, school naked. Two BDs scrolled by two actors. Neural track set up so that it looks like one BD. It'd be Nova. Tech for it doesn't exist. Interesting. So Judy's thinking of, ah, Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> just walk right through me, why don't you? Uh, she's thinking of ones to uh, create. That's fun. Have a seat and we'll get started. It's cool that there's the dialogue that it tells you whether you have enough points or not so you can see what you are missing out on. So I don't think we've missed out on much so far. Got to create your sensory profile first. A what profile now? A model of your perceptions and emotional responses. Need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue enviro. Mm-hmm. And worst case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. But we're not about to let that happen. Nah. -uh. Okay, cool. Okay, hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. No promises. It won't. <laughs> Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm hmm. Cool. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Oh, it's so cool. Get a lot of requests like this? All the time. But it's usually stuff the girls scroll at the club. I take that and do some routine porn tuning. Crank up the orgasms? More like cut out all the other shit. Fucking's business as usual for these guys. Their minds wander to grocery lists, spouses' birthdays, late bills, whatever. But even then, you can refigure things, mold the emotions into something unique, unforgettable. So, I can't complain. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Such an interesting technology concept. Okay. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't you just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. What'd you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. Real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly though. You ready? I'm so excited, yeah. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. I'm getting trond. This is so cool. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we saw uh -huh. to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Down. Everybody! On the ground! I want to see you kissing the flooring! Muddy! Now! Or I will fucking drop you! I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Uh, hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Oh! That was a gunshot. Slow, deep breath. Oh! Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. Damn. Yeah, hey, don't worry. This is going to be a brain dance where you get shot. That, that's crazy. A flash of intense shock. 
can still feel it. I, I remember. Fuck. That last second. Could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. <laughs> You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. So I can like move around now? That's so weird. How does I'll that even work? the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. All scenes yours. Oh, oh, like Keep that. Control in analysis mode. So move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. What the fuck? So analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. This is like a... Uh... The theater mode in in Halo, just like replaying your own thing, and you can watch do like free cam it and edit it. How, how far can I go? Leaving signal range. Okay, I, I hear you. Okay. Okay. And you can change to like okay. Freedom. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And I can watch it from the outside. So then you get to like pick up on things that are happening around the person. Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat, the gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't be creative. You don't need to Yeah. And think on full blast. That's what a wicked it. And only scan a clue during moments when it's perceivable by the person recording the brain dance. Okay, that's cool. Vernon and I. Okay, on you go. Okay, right here. This is so cool. This is like, imagine like Blade Runner having this technology when they were doing detective work and they can like, you know, cause one of the best scenes in the original Blade Runner is just like, Harrison Ford's just on the couch and Deckard's just like, uh, you know, he's like going left, zoom in, go this way, go that way, zoom in. And it's like slowly just like piecing together, like the reflection of something and finding this and looking at that. This is like that concept, but in like an actual virtual space. That's so cool. So there's multiple levels. There's, it looks like there's like visual uh, smell. The thermal layer and then the sound layer. So thermal is like you look for like heat signatures or stuff. It's their stink lines, guys. It's so you can see people's farts in BD. So you've got bold sections on the track indicating a scannable clue. The clue will be highlighted for the duration of the sequence if the editor is set to the correct layer. Clues may overlap each other. The spot where they overlap on the recording track will be especially bright. After being successfully scanned, clues disappear from the track. Okay, this concept is wild. Excellent. Let's move on. Now heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Wow. Okay. Fuck! On you go. Ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? Ah. Uh. So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like it was happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. So this person didn't account for there being another another guy at the back of the store. Go restock! Go 
Thanks. I'll take the register. And a couple of How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? Hey? We have a deal today on two flavors. Cuddy and yeah. Serpent. Everybody! <laughs> That's when that starts, so we can shift layers. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the rollers cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared. Meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hella nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. So you can't see heat signatures in this one, but there are some where you can. Underground! You wanna see you kissing the flooring? Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Walk the other hand to the floor, fuck it out! See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Oh. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision. Then scan it. Yo, okay, so... Oh, wow. Okay, so... I like how it all goes dark as soon as he's shot. Oh, wow. Okay. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Oh. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. What? So he was hiding... He was, oh, there he is. Holy shit. So he just like went in the back. So I thought it was going to be like someone in the store, but that's so cool that you can see this take place. That's so wild. Okay. Love that so much. That was fun. Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. <laughs> anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? I don't know. I... Ugh, let's take a break. I still feel like that kid when... <sighs> yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Go ahead. Just need T-Buck to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Runner for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Evelyn, I won't get a damn thing out of this without T-Buck. Judy, please. Ev, she wants to bring a runner in? What part of that don't you understand? How do I know she'll only perch in this footage? Observe, not fuck with anything. Me. I'm your guarantee. Yeah, right. Help me. This one last time. I promise everything will work out. Just like we planned. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Okay. Here we go. Hey V, what's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Konpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Konpeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Hmm. <sighs> Unimportant bug. Please focus. Need your help. Got no clue what I'm supposed to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. You've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request... now. Got it. You ready? 
a millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick dip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. All right, let's get detective mode. All right, V, eyes open. Got to find out where you're know who's keeping the relic. So we can like, <laughs> okay, that's a bad time to pause. Okay, so we can edit this. What the fuck is that? Um, I can't go free camera. Examine the brain dance in the last mode to find the relic. Scan the apartment security systems and watch the whole recording from Evelyn's point of view. Okay. You look like a cut of fuckable meat. Are you? Evelyn. She. I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute. To Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Yeah, hold on. Nina, Nina. Was Mark Foss again? I'll get trapped. You. Smasher. You look like a. Oh my God! Can we turn off the like the HUD so I can just. Military grade cyber detected. Cybernetic modifications 96%. Danger extreme. Extreme caution advised. Smasher. What the fuck? Look at that! The only part that's left of him is like a little bit of like like skin on the face. Holy crap. Alarm firmware is fresh, but. Saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Ooh. Cool. Scanning these security systems. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. Okay. And there's more. Also, the audio thing. God, this is so wild. All right. The kind of fuckable meat are you? Bruh. That's so crazy. No. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But make right. yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. So I can do the audio here. So if we change to editing mode and then we switch to audio layer. Okay, here we go. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's involved. a tired, visionless old gray beard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. We'll listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality, stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists, of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must not provide right. them. You know Heard that? Relic docs gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Okay. In the visual layer, scan your Onobu's data pad while it's turned on. Here in a drone, ventilation and cooling, servers, gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. Doodads. You seem tense, edgy. A moment, it will pass. <sighs> I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus. 
on me. Oh. Focus on me, and then he's gonna turn on his data pad. That's not focusing on me at all. That was pretty fun. Wait, hang on. Scan it while it's turned on. That's what I can find in this section. Automated okay. turrets. Latest scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally, no way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Okay. Um, Can't yeah. Can't them ourselves? Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. I thought that if, like, this... What would show up on the editor timeline was the main objective, but it turns out it's everything around us. That makes much more sense. All right. Step was pretty. So the data pad will be later on. Ooh, mood lighting. Looking for the perfect thing. Oh, there we go. Ah, you like a gun. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Liberty. There it is. Aha! Manual details a special temp controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, Chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Ah. A spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Because you gotta search for something real cool. The thermal layer is now unlocked. Okay. <laughs> Hot stuff. Okay. Um. So it'll be cool as fuck. I guess I should go. Or restart the recording? Oh. Oh, look at all the... When you restart, it... That's cool. So when you actually restart, it goes back through and combs through on that layer and reveals everything for you to scan. Nice. And he's cold, too. Look at this guy. Oh, no, he's pretty fucking... He's pretty fucking toasty, actually. You look like a... My god, dude. That's fucking nuts. Fuck all meat. Are you... Oh, that's one of the names that Jackie said in that car ride, wasn't it? He said Adam Smasher. Is that that guy? I would say Smasher with the last name. Yeah. Wild. Champagne and ice bucket. Yep, scan that. Oh, Donna Geese. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? Yes. No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Oh shit, I accidentally reset. <laughs> Something over here. Hidden safe, baby. Right. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. It's a hidden safe. Your Nobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. What else can I scan? He's taking a fridge. Just a fancy ass fridge. <laughs> and then what's all the way at the end? That'd be like the mini fridge. Ah, oh. nope, the AC. <laughs> Air conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. All right, there we go. Get me out of here. That's so sweet. I love being able to see all those details on multiple layers too. Yep, that'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cache on your data. You were never here.
Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. We needed that recording, Judy. BD practically does our job for us. The BD will be the death of us. Seriously. If Arasaka finds out you have it, you're dead. I'm dead. Judy, relax. Nobody will ever know. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, City will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. This does seem crazy dangerous, especially when you're, like, going up against corpse. V, one sec. Arasaka got fucking power, too. Well, don't worry. Won't do anything to get you in trouble. But, uh, I hope to see you again. Depends. On what? Whether you come alone or with a tag along, like a net runner. <laughs> no runners, I promise. See ya. Now see, I gotta watch my cartoons. I got poor patrol on. Let's walk. Well, what do you think? I think I see how you know so much about Yorinobu. It's simple. Men like pillow talk a bit too much. So it's just about the sex? Biz. And biz only. You're sure Yorinobu doesn't expect this kind of move from you? <laughs> He's got no idea. Trust me. He's too busy with Netwatch to give me that kind of attention. Besides, even if some suspicion takes root in his mind, it shouldn't matter. He won't react in time. And that's something you'll handle, right? You're not worried? Arasaka will flag and screen anyone who's had dealings with Yorinobu. Oh, they'll have a long list then. Packed full of big names. Much bigger than mine. You tell me who they check first. Corpo hotshots and cutthroats? Or a little bedroom plaything like me? Intel on Yorinobu, the chip, the BD from Kunpeki. Wins are right, plan's perfect. A job like this comes one in a million. Hmm, thanks. Now the punchline, please. Just sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Cold feet. Are you looking to get out of it? I wanna know if you're really in control here. That you're not sending me into the sort of shit I can't wait out of. V, I have zero reasons to haze you. We're in this together. Really. Trust me that I got this. So? What now? V. Do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. Uh... That's not gonna go well. You wanna fuck over our fixer? I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman. And a useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows and actually follows. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. A mistake like that'll cost you your rep. And without a rep, you're nobody. You sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight. Your choice. I don't think it's a good idea. Well, no fucking way. What do you think? Dex took a leap with me. He trusts me. Now I'm doing the same. 
With cred like that in your account, you won't need decks for anything. She's pushing. No, Evelyn, it's not just about the money. I thought you were a merc. I thought it was always about the money. Not behind the back of someone who trusts me. Sorry. Fine. I never asked. But V? Hmm. I just hope you're as good as you are naive. <laughs> if you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. Alrighty. I got some street grid and another level up. We can now leave the workshop. Bye. Go. I need a few words with Alright. Evelyn Parker. How things looking, Miss V? Yeah, yeah. Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. And the flathead. Nothing yet. On it now. T Bug says no chance at that ship without that bot. To work then, Miss V. Alrighty. Job complete, the information. So time to go, apparently, call the Militech agent, Meredith Stout, and we can meet with Jackie. Wonderful. All right. That is going to be where we bring this episode of Cyberpunk 2077 to a close. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, this has been a blast. Our first uh, official episode as our chosen character and our chosen life path, and so much fun. So we're in the Dexter Deshaun fixer job. I'm excited to see how this is going to continue and how it'll wrap up. And then proceeding past this point, uh, anything could happen. So we're getting the relic. We're getting a bot. We're performing a cool little cyber heist. And I, I literally cannot wait. The brain dance stuff is exceptional. Being able to actually see that technology and engage with it is really, really fun. Uh, we will read those shards soon enough as well. Uh, it's just already quite a packed episode of just looking around, exploring with our jaw on the ground and then uh, some actual questline stuff. And I assume we'll be getting into some potential action soon as well. So thank you so much for joining me for this episode. I hope you've had a fun time and I will see you next time.